So I actually got this set up three months ago. It was a gift from a viewer, Brother Riv, thank you. I've been using it for the last three months exclusively for my sanding. I actually made a video of the unboxing and initial review in May. You'll see that first, and then if you stick around, you'll see the follow-up on what I actually think three months later. I think giving three months of use gives it a good, fair assessment if I think it's worth the price of entry to get a Festool. I never in a million years thought that I would own a Festool anything, much less an entire Festool setup. Wow, wow. Wow, who gives away a Festool? Uh, wow, I don't know, let's, let's see what we got. So I'll unbox the sander, then we'll unbox the dust extractor, and then I'll tell you what I think about these. I've got a DeWalt dust extractor and orbital sander that I've used for years and years and years. Well, I say that, four years. And so I wanna see how much difference there is, if this is higher quality, if it's worth what the prices are for these things. I've always been a a, a low-key fan of Festool and didn't ever think that they would ever be in my shop. I know when I found out I was getting these, I was grinning from ear to ear like a possum eating sawbriar. So let's see what we got. So I got a remote switch as well for the dust extractor. It goes on the hose so I can remotely turn it off and on downstream there. So that's pretty fantastic. These two items in these boxes, I think they call these sustainers is what they call their boxes for some reason, or I could be totally wrong. These are parts and pieces to the uh, dust extractor, so I can actually use it as a vacuum as well. And then these parts, oh, sanding disc, and uh, quite a few of them as well. So not only did they gift me a sander, a dust extractor, they also gave me this fantastic set of sanding disc as well to get me started. Wow, I, I just, I like tools, okay? I'm a woodworker, I love these tools. And these are supposed to be like the bee's knees, the top of the line. It, it feels good, it looks good, I like that color. That color looks good on me, don't you think? That new sander smell, oh my goodness. Of course, super long. It's actually kind of neat the way the power cord is. These actually have a uh, plug in there that they just plug into the sander, I'm assuming. So if the cord messes up, you can change it. So it just twist locks on there. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Variable speed, I like that. So I had a variable speed to walk for a very long time and it fried on me after a couple, three years of use. So I went and bought another one uh, locally and the one I bought didn't have variable speed and I have been missing that variable speed. Just the feel quality of this, uh, it's kind of a textured, almost a, almost a rubber feel here, but it's plastic. And then the rest of it is plastic as well, but you can tell it's a high quality plastic. You can feel it, it's a heavy feeling type sander, much heavier than my DeWalt sander. Come with 120 grit sandpaper in the box, one sheet, but I have the other sustainer full of sanding disc. So we'll throw this 120 on there. Uh, this is some type guard protector, it says. I should probably read the instructions, eh? So it does come with this guard for some reason. I'm not real sure what the purpose of that is, I guess to keep from the sanding disc hitting the edge of something, what I would assume. And it also has this uh, dust bag here for portable use if you don't have a um, dust extractor. First power on. So the first thing I noticed immediately when I turned it on was it didn't vibrate like the DeWalt does. The DeWalt, after you sand a while, your hand's a little bit numb, even though that's the Perform and Protect uh, version. This one doesn't um, sting my hand or vibrate my hand at all uh, when it's on. I also noticed that I can put a little pressure on this pad and it stopped it from spinning. Whereas the DeWalt, when I grabbed a hold of it, it actually started kind of feeling like it was gonna cut my hand a little bit. Not that, not that it was gonna cut me, but it was uncomfortable to hold and this just stopped. This seems to be a little more, uh, less aggressive. Let's unbox the dust extractor. So this is the CT48 HEPA dust extractor. Now I've had the DeWalt dust extractor for a very long time. I won it in a contest years ago on Instagram. 
Those things are really helpful to get those fine particles out of the air or keep them out of the air while you're sanding. And I've, I've really enjoyed having that and didn't really even know I needed it. This is supposed to be the Rednecks back road. It's supposed to be the most awesome dust extractor ever. Or at least that's how I see it or how I perceive it. I'd like to try that out and see what we got. But first we gotta unbox it. It's actually quite heavy. Now this is the bigger version of the dust extractor. I think there's some smaller versions, but this is the 48 liter. Fully assembled as it looks like. That's awesome. I don't know, I'm kind of starting to be a fan of that Festool color. It rolls good. It's really a smooth glide. Super long cord. So inside is the hose. It's a really nice fabric covered hose and then also a bag. So that's cool. The way these work is there's a little slot there that this bag cardboard piece goes into. You press it onto the nozzle and then this piece folds down and holds it in place. And that way all the dust is contained into this bag. Just guessing that this goes on back here where those holes are. So the front of the dust extractor has, I'm assuming a volume of my, how much pull it's gonna have, auto and manual. And then over here, you can plug in here. When I power my sander on, this will automatically come on. So the remote that I got actually goes here. So this actually has a plug on it that's gonna plug into that slot. Does that say Bluetooth? And then this button straps to the hose on the yonder end. So it has a wireless button down here that's gonna be able to turn the, if I needed to turn the hose on for whatever reason, I just push that button. Let's sand something. We're gonna give it a go right here. So this dial here uh, turns up or down the volume of suction you've got too much and it'll actually suck the board up. So it's really powerful. I can immediately tell, immediately, I can immediately tell a difference between this and the DeWalt based on the history I have with using that DeWalt. The DeWalt's a good sander, don't get me wrong, but you can tell that the level is up right here. This is a next level and it's just, it doesn't, vibrate my hand like that DeWalt. That DeWalt is really vibrate and it really like buzzes your hand a lot. The suction on this thing, and if they can pick a board up, you hear me? Watch. Max power. <laughs> Minimum power. It'll almost pick it up. So I would think that's a the minimum power, maybe just a little more suction is all you would really need for sanding. You don't want it to pick the board up or move the board. I wouldn't think that would be very beneficial. So right now, as it stands, initial impressions, I'm very impressed with the quality of this sander, the way it feels in my hand, the way it sands. I'm also impressed with the suction power of that dust extractor. I'm excited to have this in the shop. So for the last three months, I've used this exclusively as my sander. I did not use my DeWalt or my DeWalt dust extractor for sanding. I like this a lot. I think this is a very high quality tool. I know they cost a lot of money. Do I think they're worth the price? Yes. Listen, it's the little things that make the biggest differences when you're talking about stuff like this. As far as vibration goes on the Festool ETS 125 REQ, the vibration is much less. However, if you sand for long periods of time, like an hour, you'll get, still get that little stingy feeling because it's been so long and that vibration's in your hand. Now, shorter periods of time, I can tell a big difference between the Festool and the DeWalt sanders. I still think that for the common garage woodworker, weekend warrior woodworker who doesn't do a whole lot of projects, I think the DeWalt setup will do you just fine. I really do, as long as you're not doing a whole bunch. The dust extractor itself has a lot of suction, so it's sucking in a lot more of that fine dust. I've noticed much less fine dust in the shop, even though I don't have official dust collection yet. It's on order, I don't have it here yet. Well, other than that Laguna air cleaner that I just got in like a week ago. 
That doesn't even play into what I'm talking about. That a review on that's coming later. The dust extractor itself, I love the fact that when I turn off this tool, about three seconds later, this shuts off. On the DeWalt, it's like a 10 second delay. That doesn't seem like a lot, but when your wife walks in, she's wanting to talk to you and you turn the tool off and you look up and it's like, it just runs for 10 seconds. You're like, oh, come on. This just shuts off pretty automatically. I like that. I really enjoy the fact that I can actually adjust the suction level of the dust extractor. So it depends on the tool I was using. So if I was using this with a circular saw or a router, I could actually crank that suction up and pull more of that dust in. I do like that. I like the fact that it has this little remote control button. I could actually pop this hose off and use this to suck up any dust without having to turn the tool on. I just hit that button, the dust extractor comes on, the tool does not. You can use any five inch orbital sandpaper with this thing. This is actually Tiger Shark. The only problem is, is you won't have the dust extraction holes because they don't line up. It's the little things, I'm telling you. It's got a notch here for the hose to go in. You can roll up all this hose and the cord for storage. So everything's not in the way. It's got a place like that. You can even run the cord out the back. That's what that's for. You can also put a sustainer up top if you wanted to. If there's a handle in here to carry. If you need to carry it somewhere, cord storage on the back. The thing rolls so smooth that, yeah, I'm barefoot in my shop. It'd be all right. The fact that you can just roll this around so easy, you can pull it by the hose when you're, when you're working, that has probably been one of the best features I've liked about this setup. This DeWalt is so top heavy with the, with the box on top. Now, this is the T-Stack box you can put on top of it. It only has sandpaper. It's not a lot of weight up there. I've always just thrown the sander inside there while it's not in use, but pulling this thing around, you see how easy this rolls? And it's not top heavy, it won't tump over, like you would have to actually physically pull it over to get it to tump over. Perfect, it, it's balanced well, it moves well. This DeWalt is so frustrating. Over the years, I have tumped this over more times and tumped over Southern for falling over. It's just so top heavy, it just falls over so easy. It's extremely frustrating. Also, the wheels on this do not roll well. They roll okay because all four swivel, it's just, it's kind of unruly the way it rolls. Now, as far as footprint goes, this is more of a round footprint. This is more of a rectangle footprint. So I've literally sanded dozens of hours with this thing so far in three months. I built my whole workbench that the video is coming out on soon. I built desks, I built cutting boards, dozens of items and sanded exclusively with this setup for three months. I actually have only opened this once in three months to see where the bag was at, see how full it was. <laughs> the bag is not even, I mean, there's dust in there. You can feel it. So the, the bag is about a quarter full, maybe. You can feel the dust in there and you can tell it's really fine, fine dust too. Even shaking the bag, you're not getting any dust flying out, nothing like that. It's totally contained in there. It's really safe. That's what I like about this. So three months later, I'm extremely pleased with that Festool. I think it's well worth the money. It's the little things, they just add up. You can tell they pay attention to detail. I, I'm extremely thankful for everything I've been given. There's no way I'll ever do anything to deserve everything that I've been given, especially here recently. Uh, it, the gifts just keep coming. God just keeps blessing and blessing and blessing. And it's absolutely amazing to see. I don't know how to thank you enough. And I mean, you know, I've always looked at Festool as like the top of the top. I never thought that was something I would actually own is any Festool or anything. And now I've got a whole setup for sanding. And to the donor who donated all of this stuff, Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, I'll never be able to repay you guys, and uh, but I really appreciate this. I, I don't know how to express my appreciation and tell you how much I really appreciate this stuff. This is next level uh, giving that I've never experienced before. Thank you. If you wanna see the original unboxing of the DeWalt dust extractor, click that box right there. It's a few years old, but you may be able to compare that to this and see the differences there. If you like this video, click that box right there. It's gonna take you to the next set of videos. Clicking that box gets you that big old virtual fist bump. Thank you for watching.